Hi Pisces, welcome to your daily reading. I hope you're doing well. We're gonna have a look and see what's going on for you at the time you find this video. We work on divine timing. Technically, we'll be covering the 27th of June, 2024, but I'd be interested to know when you come across it. Because I end up watching videos from like five years ago <laughs> that randomly pop up in my feed, randomly. Um, and they have the solution for what it is I'm going through, right? And I'm like, oh, it's so cool how that works. Okay, let's see what's going on for Pisces placements at the time they watch this video, what do they need to know for their highest good daily energy and advice for Pisces that would serve them best. Okay, let's see what's going on. Overall energy, main events when it comes to your work, your money, your um, business, your personal projects, your studies, home fact family, factory, <laughs> okay, um, other people in your life, your community, and your love life, whether you're a single, coupled up, interested, not interested, and remember these energies could be moving around between these areas, right? Keep an open mind, take what resonates with you, don't force anything to fit. Thank you for hitting that like button and for subscribing and for commenting on the videos and sharing them. It makes a big difference for the channel and for me. Thank you, and thank you to my members, okay? All right, let's see. We have the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Is that focused? I think so. Well, as best as we can get it. Um, and the Eight of Swords is an energy of analysis paralysis, being stuck in your head, being stuck in a loop of what if this and what if that and what if this and what if that. In it, it's almost like it could also be information overload. It could be feeling overwhelmed. And it's like, I don't even know what I'm thinking anymore. Everyone's telling me a lot of different things. Everyone's telling me, you know, giving me conflicting answers, giving me conflicting advice. I don't know what to do, right? Overthinking something. It's also fear of taking action. Because what if I do the wrong thing? What if I say the wrong thing? What if there's some, some going on that I'm not seeing? What if I'm being irrational? What if, you know, there's a lot of overthinking. So let's see, in the overall energy, we have death, Scorpio energy, eight of pentacles, and the Three of Wands. So there is a big change in how you make your money. This is job change for some of you. Um, this is also, Eight of Swords can also some, sometimes talk about not being receptive, not being open uh, to something. And it looks like something's changing. Something is transforming, something is ending. And that could be what triggers you and has you all up in your head and trying to hold on to what was and just rejecting anything new. I get it. I get it. Um, but with the Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Wands, there's something that's coming in. You may see it or you may not. It depends if you want to see it. Um, but there's something coming in. There's something in your environment that's a new opportunity for you. You may be struggling to see it. You may be struggling to accept a big change and then open up to new possibility. For others of you, this is a change that happens and you're being notified and you have you have a bit of trouble with that. Maybe you're traveling with the three wands. By the time you come back, everything's different and you're going, wait a minute. Or you, you were on leave or you were on materna maternity leave or you took a break from something. You went on sabbatical. You come back, everything's different. And you're going, what? the hell like no one told me no one asked me what is going on now what I want to say the death card there what that indicates is whatever is ending or has ended by the time you come back to it it was kind of meant to go anywhere um, any anyway so just try to keep an open mind I get it Pisces trust me I do I'm not, I'm not just saying things I got a Virgo moon I struggle with <laughs> with just kind of going with it sometimes, despite my Pisces sun. But this is just saying, try to keep an open mind, right? Try to just, just entertain things. Just see what what's happening. Because the thing is, it's done. By the time you get back to it, it's done anyway, right? All right, let's keep going. Oh, God. I'm traveling, so this is just... I separate myself from the readings as much as I can when I do uh, um, readings but I am part of the Pisces Collective, so every now and again, I will see, oh yeah, okay, I think that could apply to me too. 
Um, okay. Here we go. When it comes to your, your work, your career, your financial situation, your business, your personal projects, Ace of Wands is a brand new beginning, something new and unexpected just kind of shooting up in your life, right? The Nine of Wands, you may be reluctant to accept it, to look at it, to embrace it. The Chariot, because it feels like you had no say. It feels like you had no control, but it's actually a really good thing, Pisces. It's actually a really good thing. This could be where you've been really struggling. Do I leave this job? I don't want to do the wrong thing. Something happens and they're telling you the job is gone. So the decision has been made for you, but you were, you were going to do that anyway, eventually. You were just trying to come to terms with it. Do you know what I mean? It's that kind of situation. You haven't been happy there for quite some time. You were trying to figure out what to do about it. Something has been done about it right? And you know what, Pisces? You manifested that. You manifested that. That is the answer to your prayer. That is the answer. That is your solution. That is what you've been asking for, the sign you've been asking for. But it's important to remember that and to just keep going with it as opposed to getting lost in the detail of it, right? Because there's a new beginning that's really, really positive. It's not what you were envisioning exactly. It's not what you were expecting. It's not something you were even looking for. It's very different. It's very unexpected. It's, it's just change, right? But it's a really good thing, Pisces. And I feel like the more you look at it, Eight of Pentacles, Three of Wands, the more you look at it, the more excited you get about it. And the more you feel like, yeah, awesome, yeah, great, thanks universe, thanks for doing this for me, save me a lot of trouble. And I know it's not my decision, you took a decision from me, you made things happen, right? So I know it's what was meant to be, because I prayed for it. I prayed for a solution, and if this happened, I trust that that was my solution, that was my answer. And I'm just going to try to keep enough mind about it, right? But it, mindset is everything, okay? But yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Some sort of big change happens, but it's something you were contemplating anyway. You were either coming to terms with it, you were either still in the process of accepting the fact that you're not happy there anymore, or you want to do something else, or coming to terms with the fact that the only thing holding you back is your fear, or your attachment to something, or whatever it is, right? You were processing. But at the same time, it's like I don't want to make a decision because I'm, I'm afraid of making the wrong decision. And yet, the decision is made for you, right? And that's where we go, wait a minute, no one asked me. <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's important to catch that moment and take a deep breath, take a step back, and just see the big picture. This is what I've asked for. I didn't know this was what I was asking for specifically, but I asked for a solution. I asked for my answer to come. I asked for a sign of which way to go and what would be the best choice, maybe that's what that is. So let me try to go with it. Because remember, the death card is never an ending alone. It's an ending for a new beginning. And you have that Ace of Wands there. I'm not making it up. You see what I mean? And the more you entertain the new, the more excited you get about it, Pisces. Because the more clarity you have and the more confirmation you see that that was absolutely the best thing for you. When it comes to home, family, friends, we have the lovers, Gemini energy, we have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, and we have the Hierophant. For some of you, you're taking someone home, you're introducing them to the family, or they're taking you home, introducing you to their family. There's a trip happening here, um, foreign, foreign lands, foreign cultures, dealing with people from uh, different backgrounds, okay? Maybe this isn't something you've ever done before. Um, maybe you're a little bit anxious at the swords, because you've never dated outside of your faith, outside of your religion, or someone from that particular background, and you're taking them home, and you're a little anxious, and you're a little nervous, because, you know, how, how's my family going to take it, right? Are they going to be welcoming? Are they going to be, is it going to get messy? Maybe that's what you're overthinking. And the message there is, just go with it, let things happen. It'll go well. It will go well, because there's a lot of love there, right, if that's the situation. And your family will see that. And also, 
If they don't, if they, it comes to a clash, you will deal with it. The thing is, reality is never as bad as what we can think of, okay? Honestly. The, the worst case scenarios we come up with in our own heads, A, never happen, and B, are flippin' terrifying, you know? So, best thing to do with that is just to take action, any action, get some new information, and deal with it. Deal with the reality, not what's in our head. Because what's in our head is terrifying, and it, it's actually never gonna happen, okay? So it, that's how we, we kind of get ourselves out of, out of our head. Take an action, focus on something concrete, and just deal with it in the present, in reality, right? Um, for others of you, you could be dealing with someone's helping you move, someone's helping you get a loan, someone's helping you get the mortgage. There's a helping figure here. Or this is saying ask for help. There's also an energy here of extend your search, okay? Extend the searching pool. Uh, if it's for a home, if it's for something you're trying to buy, if it's something you're trying to invest in, extend the search area. Um, and you'll find it, you'll find the right thing. And for others of you, there is a, there's something different. So whatever it is you're trying to do when it comes to this sector of your life or any sector of your life, this is telling you, there's a, the perfect option for you, the perfect solution for you is doing something different. What does that mean? So if you're, you, you've always gone and done things by yourself and figured it out and you got it done, great, good for you. This is a situation where you've been doing that, it's not working, you're stuck, you're in your head, you're not sure what the hell's going on. And your typical answer would be to put more effort in, put more work in, you'll figure it out. I'm not saying you won't Pisces, but they're saying here with the cards, try something different. Maybe go get professional advice, right? You've never done that. Maybe do that, see what they tell you, right? Um, this could also be talk to someone who's doing what it is that you're trying to do. Asking for guidance, asking for help, getting some information, doing some research, that's not a sign of weakness and it's not a sign that you can't do it on your own, but this way it's a lot faster. And it's specific answers to your questions rather than doing a lot of research and then trying to figure it out, right? If you've been like I say, this has to do with getting, either getting representation, um, bringing someone in, talking to someone online um, or in person that will show you how things are done. This is someone who has street smarts. This is someone who has the experience of exactly what it is you're looking for. And they can tell you what the law says, what it really means, what the rules are, what they really mean, right? what the, the company line is and what they actually mean about it, where you have leeway, where you have room to wiggle, what's really important you should stick to and really make sure you do that properly, or as they say, and what is actually, that's been changed a few times, they just never updated the website, that's been changed a few times, they just never updated the manual. Do you see what I mean? So step outside your comfort zone, go that extra mile, okay? When it comes to your love life, we have the full, the star, nice, and the moon, wow. Look at these cards though, honestly. So you could be dealing with another Pisces or a Cancer. We also have Aquarius, you could be um, an Aquarius cusp, or uh, very specifically an Aquarius Pisces cusp you could be dealing with. Um, and there's a message here of go for it, of go for it, of follow your heart. It's a big uh, change okay, that's on the table that you're contemplating. And that could be, do you tell them how you feel? Do you ask them out? Do you make the first move? Um, it's something, again, you've never done before necessarily, or not in this way, or not with this type of person or this type of situation. Okay, with the death card of the fool tells me that. But you're guided to go for it. You're guided to do it. You're in your head about it because it's what if I've never done that. I don't know how that's going to go. I don't, what if goes wrong, right? And the thing is, you're not going to know until you try, but this is something really, um, really beautiful, really big you're contemplating and it can, it has a future. It has a lot of potential. Okay. So your answer is yes. Whatever it is you're contemplating of, should you do this? Yes. And for others of you, it's a case of Taking a, a relationship from online to in person, from long distance to let's move in together, 
and take this like take this relationship to the next level that's what this is um, for others of you it's putting your resources together for others of you it's contemplating family starting a family expanding the family there's a big threshold that you're at there's also the energy of really being taken with someone and them with you okay and there's something very different about this i don't know if you work with this person and you told yourself you have this rule of i'm never going to date someone i work with and yet here you are right and you're having to contemplate and come to terms you know kind of change your beliefs type of thing right um or whatever it is you have this rule in place right and you're kind of stuck in that loop of i told myself i wouldn't do this but at the same time, it's, it's very different, it's very new. I don't, I've never done this, so I don't know how it would go. I just have this, I had this preconceived notion or preconceived belief that that's just not something you do. But this is saying, I don't know, go with it, entertaining, entertain it, follow your heart with the full and the star and the moon. Okay, there's a yes answer here. And it could be moving in together. And it could be putting your resources together. And it could be talks of marriage, commitment, family, future. We're moving overseas together, right? Or like I say, it could be you initiating something or accepting something. It's a big deal. It's something you haven't done before or there's something different about it, right? Maybe you've lived with someone before, but there's something different about this situation. Maybe typically... Whoever you are with usually moved in with you. And this is a situation where you can, you either are, the option is for you to move in with someone, the new partner, the current partner, or the option is for the both of you to get a, a new place. And it's like, well, do I give up my place? I don't, it's something, you know what I mean? That As an example, even if it's not something you've never done, it's very different now. So technically, yeah, you've never done this, right? or you've never done it in this way. Um, but your answer is follow your heart. You already know what you wanna do. You have all the signs, you have all the guidance, you have all the information you need. Your dreams are speaking to you, pay attention. There's a lot of signs, symbols, synchronicities around you telling you to go for this. So, Pisces, there you go. I'm gonna leave you with that. If you're trying to meet people, do something you've never done before. Join a club, something to do with a hobby or something to do with a gym or something to do with sh something short distance. It's something to do with foreign cultures, foreign lands. It's something you've never done before and yet you feel called to do it. Put yourself out there, do something different. It will pay off for you big time. Okay, Pisces, so that is what I have for you. Let me know how I resonate with the ring if you do. Um, wishing you the best of luck with this. It's really great energy. Okay, something big is happening. It's something you've prayed for, manifested. It's just don't get lost in the detail. Don't get stuck on feeling like you really didn't have a say here because you manifested this. You did have a say, right? But it may take a minute for you to realize that and to look at it from that perspective before you get excited about it, right? But I hope this helps you if you're going through that type of, of situation. So Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.